Look at this place, it's unbelievable. Flip a coin, turn left. Flip a coin, turn right. It's the best way to explore Bangkok. If this is in the UK, it'd be destroyed in seconds. Really start to appreciate things lately. Hello, welcome to Swadi Car. My name is Rob and today, hopefully, I'm gonna bring you some original content, somewhere that you've not seen before. And if you have, please share below. But I've been to this place a couple of times now and it's growing on me so much. Every time I visit, I wanna explore it again, bring you guys with me and hopefully we can have some fun. So for the most part, the area that we're gonna be visiting, it's kind of like a university area. You've got behind me like the stadium and the, the school and the university and absolutely everything. And it's kind of situated in between three stations. You've got two MRT stations, which are Sam Yang and Hulong Pong. And that's probably the quickest and easiest way to get there. But for me, I'm on the BTS, so I'm here at National Stadium. I'm going to work my way from north to south and just explore everywhere. And well, you guys can join me today. Should be a good fun, let's go. So I'm just walking down beside the University Stadium here and well on the other side of the road you've got what's called Stadium One which is kind of like this little complex of sort of like gym facilities, sort of active stuff and well they've even got a little running track in the middle of the car park. So we've got a Porsche Taycan Turbo or a 5 litre Mustang. Definitely money on the Mustang for me. So we're about like in the centre point between sort of like all of the stations and they've got these electric scooters by uh, Beam and uh, push bikes by Anywell. I've not tried either service, I don't know how good they are or what the restrictions are, but it'd probably be a fun way to get around the area. So for me to enjoy things, like I'm, I'm not easily pleased, uh, even though you might think so in the videos, um, but it's all the little things that I like. I like, like the little bench they've got here, the little crates they've got, the way they've decorated it inside. It really gives the whole place some character and makes this whole area unique. You'll see this kind of like attention to detail, creativeness, repeat throughout this video. And that's why I kind of want to share it with you guys today. Definitely have more bikes if you need them. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Last time I come down here, uh, that was a fountain. It actually looked pretty decent. Maybe they'll turn it on at night. So behind me as they cheer inside is Dice Cup Caf, which is a board game caf, which back in the UK people would be a bit funny about. So it kind of makes me happy to see here because you just bring your friends, bring your family, have yourself a coffee, enjoy yourself a game. There's well over 100 games in there to choose from. Looks like a bit of fun, I might have to come back here. So we're just further south at the moment, more towards where the MRT stations are. And we're just about to head into this, which is called Dragon Town. It looks really interesting from the outside, really quirky on the inside. Well, let's just show you. So some of you might remember, I actually walked through here the other day with my friend uh, when I'd done my uh, becoming a YouTube video. And he said to me, he said, oh, have you done a video on this place yet? And I was like, no, nah, not really. And he was like, well, you should. And well, obviously I'm here now sharing it with you guys. And well, hopefully you enjoy it as much as I did. I absolutely love the architecture around here. I don't know what, I don't know what obviously it's just sort of like a Japanese theme, isn't it? But it's nothing that I've ever seen before, especially here in Bangkok. And well, I've actually been to Japan as well. And I'm not too sure I saw it exactly like this or not how I remember it anyway. It's just very unique, I really like it. I don't know why, it's just, uh, it's kind of just stands out from the rest of the city. Well, 
Well, there's absolutely loads of people actually out taking like photos, whether it's like professional photographers or well, just people out just having a little bit of fun. It's just a perfect place to get that photo. Oh man, this behind me is just, it has to be one of my favorite by far. I'm, like, I'm looking at it just like my jaw drops. I'm like, look at this place, it's unbelievable. Just like all the intricate details, like I was saying before. I'm definitely gonna come back here and grab some food tonight when the sun sets. <laughs> made a new friend, eh? Oh, I made two new friends, see? Everybody in Bangkok's friendly. The land of smiles, even the dogs are smiling, eh? Oh man, I could probably honestly hang around there for about another hour and find a bunch of other stuff to show you and look at. I kind of wish I left a little bit earlier, actually. It's uh, 10 past five in the evening and I want to catch the sunset in other places. So let's go and check out what else there is to see. So I'm normally pretty good with sort of my timings and how long to spend in certain places and I kind of gave myself two hours. I arrived here at 4pm, sun sets around sort of six o'clock and that and we're getting a great sunset now, it's brilliant. But, ah, I'm kind of racing around and I wish I had a little bit more time to actually soak it in because the best thing to do, especially when you're exploring a new place, is to just chill. Just take your time, don't kind of like try and be going from A to B but just even just go down the alleyways that you've never heard of or even like in this video although i'm going to link absolutely everything below and any sort of restaurant or shop or you know a bit of art or whatever i'll put all of the links down below to make it a bit easier for you guys but just walk and then like flip a coin turn left flip a coin turn right it's the best way to explore bangkok Man, I could appreciate this today. Last time I come here, it was a little bit dark. I didn't realize, I, I, I knew it was some sort of like art structure or something. I didn't realize it was like individual bits of the car, like the steering wheel and the, the dashboard. And this in the UK would be destroyed in seconds. Like, I'm not even joking. People would probably try and use these to replace bits on their car. It's so cool. I, I, I love it. I love just how they embrace just stuff and things and they just have a, a bit more respect for just, I don't know, other people actually enjoying stuff. The Thai people here, they don't even think about destroying this or vandalizing it or putting even graffiti around it. They don't, they don't think twice about things like that. That's why if you're on the, the BTS or the MRT, you'll never see any graffiti every, anywhere. I've been here over 400 days and not one time have I seen a single Sharpie like I was here or any of that sort of crap. Art, respect, culture, all the reasons to love Thailand. I did put it on my list of things to talk about the uh, the Iron Park shopping mall, but it's a shopping mall. It, it does look really cool. It is very unique. It's very different. And uh, it looks like they've got some sort of night market going down the back of it. See, I learned something new every single day without fail. It's unbelievable. But yeah, it's a shopping mall, Iron Park. So this is exactly why I come down here at this time. It's so beautiful sunset here in Bangkok, no matter where you are, but especially in the parks. It's definitely more chilled as well. You're not gonna be burning in the Bangkok heat. And well, you can just sit down and relax and enjoy it. So instead of ending up in a landfill or on someone else's cars, they've used uh, tail lights and indicators to make a beautiful heart. Bangkok Pat would like this park. It's got plenty of cats here. Hey buddy.
And just real quick for the record, this is an exploring video. This is not me knowing about anything about anything as per usual. I don't know anything about this area. I don't know much about the, this particular structure. I think it's got some sort of architecture award. Anything that I can find out, I'll put it on the screen and share with you guys. But this is just me exploring, finding new places and well, sharing it with you guys. I only do the, like the W2TF uh, series on places I really, really know about, like Sukhumvit, Kassam Road, and then obviously I've just put out a Rama 9 video as well. But this, this is just exploring and well having fun and enjoying Bangkok. Oh man, last time I didn't even come up this bit, but one absolutely amazing view of the city. Like I said, perfect timing as well, absolutely perfect. Really start to appreciate things lately. So it turns out they've actually got a boatload of architecture awards. There you go, 2019, 2018 World Landscape Architecture Award. There's about five other awards all down here. And well, I'm not surprised. This place is absolutely beautiful. The architecture and just the creativeness all in itself. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's, can you hear the bird? Uh, it's so chilled out down here. I thought it would actually be just a bit chaotic because it's right near the university, full of students, but it's not, it's really chilled. You can't really hear any traffic, like maybe down on the main road and that, but for the most part, like this is all kind of like back streets and, oh man, I love that bird. Yeah, it, I don't know, it just feels super chilled here. I should probably send this one to Paddy. He asked like, where's a good place to chill out in Bangkok? This is definitely gonna be one of them. That's the, uh, that's the second Mustang today. It must be a sign. So they have like this little intersection like where all the locals are really. And you've got like all these sort of corner restaurants. You've got one here and then roof 14 here. This was actually where I was gonna eat originally. Um, but that little Japanese place that we saw earlier, I'm gonna go back there and treat myself, I think. It really kind of amazed me and I think I owe it to myself to go back. But like, like I said, they've got like a few on each corner. Like I said, I'll link all of this down below so you know exactly where to find it. But yeah, the menus on these places look absolutely ace as well. See, I told you there was a fountain. I do know something. So if you've been to Bangkok before, you know there's always two sides to Bangkok. There's day Bangkok, and well, there's night Bangkok, and it really does come alive. And this restaurant just doesn't disappoint. I'm gonna go and grab some food. Oh man, so I, I arrived, I sat down and I went through the menu and I have to be careful with this. This is a handmade menu. Everything in here has been neatly and carefully written out. Each one of these pictures has been printed out and stuck in this book. This, the, the menu itself is honestly a work of art. And well, what I found was on the other menu, they gave me a time menu to start with, had a picture of a meal, which is this meal here. And if it's good enough for the front of the menu, and the front of the store. That's what I want to try, so I'm waiting for that now. Cup on a cup. Why? Why? Ah, that's okay. Thank you very much. Cup, thank you. Cup on a cup. Oh, wow. Look at this. Let me, <laughs> before I make a complete mess of this meal, let me, let me show you it quickly. All right, time to dig in. There's a variety of stuff here. I'll put it on the screen, what I've ordered, but oh, it looks amazing. I don't know what this sauce is. Oh, I don't know. It's got a bit of a punch to it, though. Cheers, guys. Oh. oh man, it's nice though. Fresh cooked food, middle of Bangkok. Right, you guys can bugger off. I'm going to enjoy this. A few moments later. Oh man, what can I say? I'm, I'm, look, I'm not a food channel. I can't describe food like Mark Wings or Gary Butler, but that was absolutely delicious. Most of the stuff on that plate, it's the first time trying it. I've never had the, the clear noodles. I've never even tried sort of like squid properly because I just, I don't trust it. And then I saw that they, they had it on the plate and I, that was absolutely beautiful. 
I'm gonna link this down below. Come and check it out, say hello. Let them know that you come from Project Bangkok as well. Let's go and find somewhere else. So this was gonna be my last recommendation. I've eaten here a bunch of times. It's all you can eat for 219 Thai baht. It's still closed from the New Year's celebration, but it'll probably be back open tomorrow. So I'd highly recommend doing what I'd done today, actually, because it worked out really well. Arriving around four o'clock, making the most of the sunlight, exploring, just seeing the culture, the art, just visit a few shops, kind of work out where you want to eat. And then when the sun goes down, after you sort of maybe enjoyed the sunset in the park, you can then go and find somewhere to eat because everywhere kind of picks up, the atmosphere changes, it's way more chill. Even today, I actually zoned out for about 30 minutes when I sat there eating my food. I was just sat there just like, hmm, listening to the birds and there was a bit of music going on in the background. Hardly anyone walking around. It was just, oh, it was just a really enjoyable evening. It's coming up to 8 p.m. now, so I've been here for nearly four hours. Is this gonna be a bucket list place for you to visit in Bangkok? No, probably not, mm, just yet. It's getting there, it's, I don't know, because I'm gonna keep coming back again and again. The food down here is absolutely incredible, and I'm probably gonna have to put together a map of all the places that you guys should visit. Make your way down here, make your way to that Japanese restaurant, say hello, let them know what I sent you, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.